Thistle. And there is another issue dividing the coalition tonight, though Downing Street is insisting there's no friction over what powers the government should have to track people's internet use. The communications data bill looks likely to be reworked after the Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg called it a snooper's charter and told the Home Secretary to go back to the drawing board. David Cameron's spokesman said he accepts the criticism but remains committed to the proposals. So what do they include? Well, internet service providers would have to store for a year all details of people's online communications, including messages sent via social media, phone calls and emails. The time messages were sent as well as their duration and who sent and received them would also all be kept. And police and other agencies could access the data without a warrant, although officers would need the Home Secretary's permission to see the content of messages. Well, earlier I talked with the Conservative MP Michael Ellis, who supports proposals, and Jimmy Wales, who's the founder of Wikipedia, who told me why he wants to see the bill scrapped. There do need to be some changes to the law to deal with the changes in technology, but I think this particular law uh, was um, overbroad, too expensive, um, and just really not the right approach from a technological point of view. Michael Ellis, I mean, you're a lawyer. Um, of course, you wallow in uh, too long a law, too much of it. And presumably you go along with it. Actually, John, we need proper laws, we need workable laws, but we need this law. It's absolutely essential. And the reason we need it is because we have to make sure that our criminal legislation keeps up with the criminals. We have a situation where police can monitor um, and properly collect data from your landline telephone, your mobile telephone, but if criminals use more modern forms of communication, they can't, and that can't be right. Jimmy Wells? Well, that's, uh, that's actually not uh, completely true. Certainly when criminals are using uh, Facebook or Gmail or things like this, uh, Yahoo, uh, all of these kinds of things, uh, these companies do cooperate with police, uh, get a court order, they will help. Um, they even uh, cooperate voluntarily. Uh, my the big problem with this bill is that, uh, to me, it seems quite technologically incompetent. Um, it was really aiming at the wrong targets, um, and in a way give, give that us wasn't likely to help. Give us an example. Well, for example, to evade this law, all you need to do is um, open up an email account uh, with the provider that's based in the United States, um, and your local service provider will have no way of seeing uh, what you're doing there, and so you're right back to square one. It isn't that precisely the problem, that whatever you come up with, the online world is one in which people are imaginative, creative, they will find ways around it. And you want a law which is actually going to damage the freedom of speech, the privacy of ordinary citizens at the expense of a law which doesn't trap a criminal. No, no, we certainly don't want that. What we want is a law that will work. Now, of course, we're not going to be able to get any, any law that catches 100% of, of the criminals. So there will be people who will be able to escape the system. There always will be. There are people now who can escape um, other forms of uh, But that's the easy bit. What uh, about safeguarding the citizens' uh, privacy? Well, that's a balance that always has to be drawn. Well, what does it do from your perspective to privacy? Well, I think it's very problematic. Uh, the, the technological scheme outlined uh, uh, here is to require uh, internet service providers and actually pay them to store lots of data that they wouldn't otherwise store, uh, which means that uh, if it's going to have any impact at all, we're going to have uh, potentially hundreds of companies, some large, some small, uh, some with very secure installations, some with highly insecure installations, storing data on people. And it has to be in a, in a, in a format or in a way that it can be accessed by uh, the filter system so that the government can actually access it. That's putting a lot of data online in a very insecure way, and all you have to do is Google for uh, stolen data to see all of the news stories uh, about data theft that's going on. And so I think people should be quite concerned um, already. Uh, if anything, I think the public would like to see the government working to reduce the amount of our personal data that's being stored by these companies. Well, what is interesting, surely, perhaps, is to look at WikiLeaks. Now, we were told WikiLeaks would kill endless agents. That there were all sorts of terrible things that were going to happen as a result of the leaking of all this secret material and the rest of it. And, of course, nobody has actually died. And, and you, you begin to wonder, really, isn't there a fantastic quantitative paranoia about the online world, which many legislators don't even understand? There may be some paranoia on the part of those who are advocating not to have this bill about uh, conspiracy theories and the intrusion of government. Look, this isn't going to be a Well, Nick Clegg is not actually arguing we shouldn't have this bill. He's so saying he there are some serious modifications which need to be made to it. Well, clearly, there may be some work that needs to be done, and I think the Home Office has said that one of the reasons that they can work with this uh, draft...
bill report is that uh, they agree with the substantive measures of it. Well, Jimmy Wales, as you look around the world, is Britain alone? I mean, is this, is this a rather extreme measure or do you see it as simply part of a pattern or is it unique? Um, it's unique in some aspects, but um, it is uh, common. Uh, we see it in China, Iran, Syria, all those lovely <laughs> Happy places. Happy to be associated so, with these groups. I, I think we're seeing it increasingly in, in Western democratic countries, and they're going to be looking forward, as we are, to making sure we can catch these criminals.